welcome to the vlog. It is currently Sunday, September 3rd. It is actually both of my niece's birthdays. Shout out to Everly and Eloise. Happy birthday, girls. They're two and five this year. They were born on the same day, um, three years apart by the same parents, which is crazy. I dropped off Isaiah at work earlier today, and then I went to the gym. I'm quite hungry right now. I really need to eat something. I've really just been like looking at some apartments because we got our notice in here in this apartment that our lease ends on October 28th. So we have to be out by October 28th. Um, I was kind of stressing out about finding a place because the one that I was looking at that I really, really liked was in Santa Monica. And it's not available and it doesn't say when it's gonna become available. And it was kinda, I don't know if I would really love the area. Like I like the area just fine. It's safe and whatnot, but it's not super lively. Like there's not a lot to like walk to easily. You have to bike somewhere. I get ready and go outside to I have to design a tattoo for me and my bestie girl. We're getting tattoos when I go to Boise or hopefully. So we've been friends for almost 10 years. I kind of talk to you about where we're looking at moving. I'm so excited. I have not like apartment hunted in LA for a hot second because we've been in this one. Well, I've been in this one since February of 2021. It's been a minute. We've been here for like two and a half years. And the apartment itself is like pretty nice in here. Like I really like the hardwood floors. I like the color of them. Like just overall features. I like the floor to ceiling windows. I like that we have just like a little Juliet door. It brings in a lot of light and we are south facing. So I do get a pretty good amount of sun throughout the day, which is nice, but it's small in here. I hate the management at this location. They just suck at their jobs and they can't communicate to each other, which is really frustrating. We've had a lot of issues with them just like failing on their part and I feel like I have to do their job for them, which is really frustrating because I don't like doing that. Like I'm not getting paid for it, you know? And then we always, there's always like an elevator not working. There's always something wrong with the building or I don't know, there's always issues around here. Overall, it's like pretty good. We have had a lot of just like annoyances, like the fire alarms go off like once a week. It's so annoying and at like four in the morning for no reason. There's never a fire truck that comes, so we all know that it's fake. It's just going off, but we're ready to move. We also feel like we're just like living in a tourist trap. When I moved into this place, it was COVID, so it didn't feel like a tourist trap. It's like a tourist trap now. On Tuesday this week, we are gonna go look at, we're just gonna do like a self-guided tour over at the apartments that I was looking at online and drop any questions that we have and see if we could get approved and stuff like that and see if we even like it over there. I think I'm gonna really like the area. It got me really excited and where we're, this is at, it's like actually more bang for your buck. So like we, if we were to be paying this amount in Santa Monica would be in like a crampy one bedroom, whereas this gets us like a two bedroom plus a loft, 1500 square feet apartment, which makes me really happy. And it seems that there's like a community over there. I don't want to jinx myself. I'm just getting really excited about it. The end of this week on Thursday, we are actually headed back to Boise. Isaiah's family doesn't know what my sister doesn't know, but everyone else in my family knows because my mom's a blabbermouth. Isaiah's sister knows because she helped us like organize the whole thing and helped us get tickets to go to Boise so that we could surprise his mom. It's her birthday on Thursday. Um, we're gonna go surprise his parents and have a fun weekend in Boise and celebrate all the birthdays that have happened recently. But I really wanted to do this tour before we go just so that if we really, really like it, like we could secure it. Plus you get like, I think the offer right now is like a month off of rent which would be so cool, like that'd be awesome. So I definitely want to snag that in time of the offer. Yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to move out of Hollywood and be by the beach. I really think it's just gonna help my mental health. Little things like the beach and being able to like sit on the beach and journal, those things make me really, really happy. And coming from Boise, Idaho, where there are no beaches, like it's kind of always been a dream of mine to live by a beach. I did really think that I'd be living in Santa Monica, but the more and more I think about it, I feel like Santa Monica is just gonna feel like another tourist trap. 
Like I just have like a gut feeling where I just don't want to be in a tourist trap. I don't want to be unhappy. I think that we'll be able to build more of a nicer community in Marina del Rey. We definitely want to get some bikes. I don't know if this is like going to be our only place to tour. Part of me feels like that's really stupid to do, but also part of me feels like, what if we absolutely love it and like we just found a great deal? We have to get it, you know? I'd be willing to put that deposit down that day and sign the lease. And that way like I wouldn't have to stress about it at all. And we'd get like the full first month of November for free. So then we could like just save up a ton of money. Cause I am a little worried that like I'm trying to transition into doing freelance and social media, get out of restaurants completely during this time as well. So it's just like a big part of me just stresses out all day long, but another part of me is like, it's fine. Everything's gonna work out. Everything has divine timing, yada, yada, yada. We'd actually have room for a couch, like a big couch. I've already been picking it out and like designing my Pinterest mood boards. I have been working on some mood boards because have you ever like just loved an influencer's aesthetic, want to kind of recreate it, but you have no interior design knowledge whatsoever. So you're like, how do I do that? So I've been building Pinterest mood boards They're attached to Amazon. So you can just like click and like the link takes you back to Amazon and you can buy straight from that. And then it's just like all in one place. And that has been giving me so much joy. I was really, I was working on it last night and I was so excited about it because I'm like, this is what everyone needs is I'm always looking at like YouTube videos or TikToks and I'm like looking at these influencer homes that they've designed so pretty and like so cohesive and they have a certain vibe that matches them and like a lot of times I feel like I fit in that vibe but I don't know how to do all that. I'm learning. It's not as hard as you think. It's honestly like a lot easier just to like work on one room at a time as a smaller scale look at everything and mix and match pieces and I really like that. That's been super fun. I feel like I have a really creative eye anyway so just practicing that is really fun so if you want to go check out my Pinterest mood boards I'm gonna make some uh, say brekkie but it's actually like three o'clock but i think i am just gonna make some like egg on toast that sounds fire it sounds like protein Ooh, i need to make my protein balls today i a pan and my toaster i don't know if it's on like a medium heat and then in my pan once it's like kind of warm i've got it on medium medium heat i think it's on like six right now and i'll just add some butter I'll cook two eggs and fry them I love that this other place too has two bedrooms and a loft to give us our bedroom, a spare bedroom for guests, which like we have family coming in all the time. We have friends that want to come in all the time. And right now, like I want my bestie to come here, both of my besties, honestly. I want them to come here so bad, but like we'd all be sleeping in one room because we're in a studio apartment. This place would have a whole nother bedroom and bathroom for them, plus a loft and a loft and a bar area, which makes us really happy because you know we do cocktail roulette and if you don't know that we do cocktail roulette go follow our instagram and our tiktok because we post cocktail roulette videos on there all the time Legs. as i was saying this place has two bedrooms and a loft so i'd have our bedroom their bedroom whoever is staying with us a guest bedroom nonetheless and then there's the living area that we could put a big couch in there's like a deck and then there's a loft which i would turn into my little photo studio so that i can do more of that kind of stuff because that makes me really happy and to do it in our studio apartment is just so much work i also want to make sure that has good lighting because that is importante we got breakfast Y'all, good morning. Currently 9 a.m. I'm tired, I did just wake up. First of all, okay, we're headed to Cycle Bar. Second of all, I've been waking up for the past like hour and a half because Loki's sleeping on the left side of Isaiah and Dax was sleeping on the right side of me and they were like pretty inward. And so me and Isaiah were like piled up on top of each other, which is fine, like we like to cuddle, but sometimes like it's just, I'm too claustrophobic. There's just too much going on. This is not what I want to do right now. This actually sounds like so much work, but it's supposed to be a full class, which actually makes me really excited because I feel like I, I feel the energy more when it's a full class. I think it'll be really good. And oh, 
I know I'm like beet red, but oh my god, that was such a good class. It like genuinely made me want to cry just because the instructor is just so good at cycle bar. And this specific instructor, like she kills it every single time. There was a lot more energy in the room, which I think helped me a lot. But like I didn't slow down one time. I kept pushing myself. I kept turning the little knob. And that felt really really good and like I never felt like my legs were dying or like they were too tired to do it or like they couldn't keep up with the pace like I just had energy the entire time and it felt so good um she said this one thing though and I really really liked it it like really hit hard and she said that sometimes life is meant to be hard and you can get through the sticky parts you can get through the rough patches you can take the risk sometimes you have to like live life on a risk in order for it to benefit you and like get you to where you want to be and I oh, man, I'm gonna cry. no I feel like me and Isaiah we have so many like things up in the air at the moment with just like where we're moving what jobs we're working and none of it really fucking matters because like we're just together you know obviously like we each have our own personal goals and i have i am so determined to make those work it is hard when you're working three jobs and you're trying to pull off a move that you don't know if it's gonna happen or not just putting yourself in the best spirits possible and trying to manifest it and she's right like this could be the sticky part where it's like, if I get through this, I'm gonna make it to a better position. And the grass isn't always greener on the other side, I know that, but like, it just feels good when you accomplish something after you've been working towards it for a really long time. So I'm very excited for this next little chapter that's gonna be starting here in like two months. Time I think you're gonna walk out of my door I start to jump to the conclusion you don't love me Just got out of Target to finish up some birthday shopping for the girlies So I got them some cute like little outfits and kind of roamed around Target for a minute Dressed myself out, that is for damn sure Got like 200 bucks on a whole bunch of random shit that I probably didn't need to get But that is how a Target trip goes Now I'm super anxious I'm really trying to have like a really good positive mindset that everything's just gonna work itself out but sometimes I just can't help but feel like everything isn't working out. I'm being Delulu. But then again, like, Delulu solves the Salulu, you know? Isn't that what everyone's saying? No, I'm just stressing myself out. I know I'm overthinking about things. I'm really, really excited to go see our potential apartment tomorrow. But, like, we're getting this apartment if everything works out. So I need things to start showing me that they're gonna be fine. Cause you girls getting anxious. I know that doesn't help anything. So we're gonna go home. I gotta box up the girls' presents because some of the stuff cannot be flown and I'm not checking a bag, nor do I have room for it in my suitcase regardless. So I'm gonna box it up and send it out tomorrow and just overnight it over in Boise. I swear to God, I write a list for myself every day and it's like I don't accomplish anything. Can someone tell me why that is? Like, I feel like I'm doing things all day long and that I'm exhausting my myself but nothing gets done and I don't understand how all right y'all we're back and it is bright we went and toured an apartment today in Marina Del Rey we really liked it we're gonna tour another two probably next week when we get home let me list out all the things that we're looking for and then the apartments that we toured I'll insert them our non-negotiables and our budget and stuff like that so our budget's around 3500 i have to have lighting i get very just dark and gloomy myself if i don't have good lighting another non-negotiable was washer and dryer another one was space i guess live in a studio apartment at the moment like we really like the open concept so something that doesn't feel too close off to us is really important, um, making sure that we have enough room for everything. And then number four would be um, storage. Or we need storage because we don't have any at the moment and it's really challenging. Some things that we would like but aren't necessarily a must have are, I would love to have hardwood floors throughout the entire thing. I would like to have an ice maker. I like a walk-in closet. We did tour one today that like had our inserts already, which was really nice. 
Um, we loved that because the dresser situation, Isaiah's dresser is not that big. Having a walk-in closet with inserts would be nice. A walk-in closet in general would be nice. I don't really like the two mirror situation. Having new updated appliances and finishing has to have two bathrooms. I'm not doing this one bathroom anymore. For the first place that we toured, it was really nice. You walk in and to the left is the kitchen. There's an island, everything is updated. Um, there was tons of storage in the kitchen, beautiful amounts of storage in the kitchen, and there's storage in the island too, so it was like a functioning island, which I really liked. The kitchen just felt huge and open, and we really, really liked that. The entry was ginormous, literally so much. There was a gas range, which was awesome. There was no ice maker, so that was one thing where I was like, eh, that's kind of annoying. We could theoretically, I think, ask them to change out the fridge so that we could have an ice maker. Um, so that's potential. I don't know how much if that would be extra. This place was, I want to say like 1,124 square feet is the number that's coming to my head. So then from there, it like opens up to the living room. Obviously there's a little indent, um, that has like a little bookshelf and some upper lighting that goes straight to a wall area where I think technically is supposed to be like a dining area, which would be great because we do cocktail roulette. Like we could make that entire place where our bar is and film there, which would be awesome. Um, the living room was really good size, honestly, and then it led out to a big patio. The patio was pretty massive. Um, I mean, as far as patios go in LA, <laughs> it was pretty good. It was a pretty good size patio. I don't necessarily think that we would, that was one of our other like would like to have, but not a necessity. It used to be a necessity of ours, but I think in this location specifically, I feel like we'd be out and about a lot more than we are here. You have two ways that you can go. You can go to the right or the left. The right was the master bedroom and it was a pretty decent size. Um, it did have carpet in there, but it had good lighting in the room a bit that was one thing about this apartment where i was like it was pretty dark without any of the lights on and then in the master bedroom there is like a walk-in closet with inserts that are built-ins and that was really nice i really liked that and then when you go over to the bathroom that's in the master bedroom it's massive and second bedroom which was a bit smaller it did have a pretty deep closet like you could definitely even walk in the closet um and it was carpeted still there's also a massive linen closet, a washer and dryer, and a second bathroom that was huge and had another linen closet in the second bathroom. So there was just tons of storage in this look in this one that we really, really loved. Isaiah loved it like right off the bat. There was still like a couple things that I wasn't too keen on was the ice machine. There wasn't one, the carpet, and then the lighting. Everything else I really, really liked about it. Um, I didn't like the location of where it was on the like community map that they had. The second one that we looked at today was also a two bedroom, two bathroom. Relatively, it was same, on the same floor, so on the second floor, relatively around the same area, but more so towards the west facing. So it had a lot more natural light and you can pretty much notice that immediately when we walk in. So in this one, what I liked about it a lot was that there was no carpet at all loved that the lighting was immediately better and then um there was an ice machine but the things that i didn't like about it which technically this one was bigger than the second one however it didn't feel so as much because the kitchen was a little bit more closed off definitely still open enough um and the appliances were all brand new didn't have an island but it had a peninsula still had a pretty decent amount of storage in the kitchen not quite as much but a pretty good amount um i really liked the fridge too it was like the double fridge and had a like water filter on there even though we use a brita anyways but had an ice machine love that through the kitchen there is the laundry room i did like that there was like a separate laundry room so it didn't feel like college laundry coming out of the kitchen is like where the second bedroom would be there's the second bedroom and the second bathroom not as big the second bathroom was not as big as the first one that we saw but still had good storage like who really cares second bedroom was really nice and then going back over to the master bedroom the things that i noticed was that it was a little bit smaller of a master bedroom and then the closet didn't have any inserts in it which 
is fine. It's still a walk-in closet. Can't decide which one I like more. So then the third apartment that we looked at, we really just wanted to get the idea of like what their loft situation looked, there, looked like there because we were viewing it online and there's a couple of them that we really like but aren't available until a little bit later. And so this one that we looked at was a one bedroom plus loft. And it was about a thousand square feet. So a little bit smaller, but not a ton. Um, it did have vaulted ceilings, so it made it so much brighter in there. And I really enjoyed that. It, all of like the finishes were pretty outdated and we could, we like ran into a guy that lived there and he said that you can ask them to do it, like redo everything in there before you move in. But we don't know timeline wise how much that how long that would take and how much more that would cost because that would clearly up the rent and for some reason the one bedroom plus loft was more expensive than the two bedrooms which made no sense to me because it wasn't updated at all like, this one was a hard no we will not be moving into that one just because it had too many things it was too expensive for not offering enough maybe if it was completely updated and like a little bit bigger in the bedroom area and just everything was like super nice and nicely finished it'd be a maybe but like it was a hard no but i did really like seeing the loft so we are going to tour two more the same apartment building i feel like we've pretty much decided on the apartment building because they're renovating a lot of it so they're adding amenities to it so right now the price of the apartment itself doesn't reflect the amenities and once those are finished later this year it will and so it's going to skyrocket so basically we're getting a two bedroom we could get a two bedroom for a steal because it's really hard to find a two bedroom um these everything was a bit out of our price range but not by much so both of the two bedrooms i believe were about 3700 and the one bedroom i want to say it was like 46 the one bedroom loft i want to say it was like 46 it was a ridiculous amount i don't know why it was that much the two that we want to tour there's a two bedroom plus loft i don't think that has a balcony and i think that it's pretty outdated so it's probably a no we'll see and then the other one was i think everything is updated it's on the second floor and it is like southwest facing rather than northeast facing which means you would get a lot more light in it um i think it was more of a the second setup that we saw we'll see when we tour it which will be next week i'm making a present for isaiah's mom for her birthday all right y'all i am going to wrap up the vlog here it is currently wednesday night we fly out to boise idaho in the morning we have to be up at like 4 30 we're leaving our house at like 5 gonna be an early morning right now it's like 11 40 Isaiah's still at work we're packed we're cleaned I still have to do some content tonight I just gotta upload some stuff I need to take a bath shave my legs get ready like vacation ready even though we're going to our hometown so it's not really vacation but uh we might as well feel like we're on vacation you know that is it for the vlog thanks so much for watching if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below I appreciate every one of you. See you in the next one.